One love, Rastafari. Bless you. Good morning, guys, from Chucky's yard. Good morning, Chucky. Wagwan. Good morning, Simon, as usual. Today, today, it seemed like say, it was raining so hard in the night, you know. Yeah, but in the morning, it's still overcast, you know. But I'm just doing my regular routine work in the morning, cleaning up the place, you know. And then after, we just move on to Port Antonio and check it out what's going on the car. Two today. The system says it's a half day. The lockdown. The lockdown. So we have to go and do what we have to do in a very quick, fast manner. Okay? Yes. But to be honest, if the line is terrible in this Babylon place in Port Antonio, I'm not going to go inside there, you know? Because I don't have a family life going. So it don't seem for me to say I have to go and make big shop to take care of my kids and my wife. No, I'm a total freelancer. I can just go to the restaurant, grab and go. I just eat what around me, you understand? Maybe some breadfruit, some banana, some and coconut food, you know, with this period of time, you know, until it get more, go back to the normal state, you know. Well, it's just that I'm gonna say for now, until later, when we end up in Port Antonio. Maybe grab a few party too, you know, and look around in the bigger part of the city, okay? Yeah. One love, Rastafari, highly blessed. That makes sense. And also, Chucky, he doesn't like to wait in the supermarket lines and I don't like it either. So every time there's a huge line, we just leave again. <laughs> yeah, yes, because we are so freelance, you know. Yeah. And uh, you're a freelancer too, you know. You don't have a family around you, you know. So yeah. you can just do whatever you want to do, you know. That's why for me to go back and have a family, I would have to sit down and explain my whole life to these people before yeah. I really come into me at a close distance, you know. Because sometimes I'm a little bit strange, you know. And when you're a little bit strange, not everybody can work with your lifestyle, you know. So True. you need to check it out before we get that close way together, you know. Because to be honest, I'm a total, total freelancer, you know. And I don't think I can look back, you know. I'm always going to look forward to more freelance, even more, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know that to say, man. Yeah, true. Yes, to be honest with you, you know. Yeah, man. One love. And I really like the t-shirt that Chucky is wearing today. Because I did this crazy, stay like that, I did this crazy motorbike trip in Ecuador and they gave me a t-shirt for Chucky too. So if you ever want to do a really, really crazy motorbike tour, you should do it with these guys in Ecuador. I will put the link right into the video description. Yeah man, I me love the t-shirt, you know. I appreciate it so much, you know. One day these riders from Ecuador supposed to come here and hang out with me at my freelance place, you know. And then we make a bike tour around Jamaica, Blue yeah, Mountain man. and everything. Yeah man, these guys should come over, you know. So you can just give them the link. That's when they in Jamaica, they check out Freelance Chucky, you know. Yeah, and man. subscribe to Freelance Chucky channel every time now, YouTube channel, you know. And Backpack Simon Freelance channel, too, you know. Aile Aile, one love, Rastafari, blessed love. Blessed love, Rastafari. <laughs> Chucky, Bagua, now. Well, to be honest with you, right now, don't fix up the yard and things like that now, and heading on out to Port Antonio because American guest is here with a car, but he doesn't understand to drive in Jamaica so good. So every drive he drive, he make one stop in one patrol and flat out the tire. You know? So now you have to bring him to Port Antonio to the tire shop to get it repaired and see what's going on over there. I don't know what it's gonna cost, you know, but I'm going there to make this guy to be honest with him and don't cheat him, you know. Yeah. Because I'm an honest person and I don't want him to go on his own and then they give him one big price, you know. No, I'm not that type of person in Jamaica. I'm here to protect my guests to the best of my ability, you know. So any problem they have here in Jamaica, as long as they be around me, I will assist to the best of my ability, okay? Yeah. So now I'm going to Portland with this American guy, okay? Yeah, man. and by the way, guys, it's already his second flat tire <laughs> in two days, I believe. Yeah, so like, as I said before in my videos, most people that come here from foreign, they can't really drive in Jamaica 
because uh, <laughs> the people here they drive very aggressive they don't and follow rules yeah and they don't follow the rules and they just <laughs> overtake and yeah but you freelance Simon you do it so good you know car you had that this Jamaican culture and know how to drive in Jamaica you know so I think the guy should give you the car but him don't so open to do that you know he's a little bit of a closing mind so we're gonna just leave him and make he continue punch a punch a punch you know and yeah <laughs> One after the other. This is the car. Yes. The spare tire is on right now. Okay. But well, it can take him there, you know, to put it on it, to check it out, you know. So we go together, okay? Okay, um. I sit in the front. Yeah, no problem. Yo, wag one, brother. Yo. <laughs> As Chucky would say, the weather is scheiße. Scheiße weather, you know, but I think later in the day, it's gonna change. Uh, maybe around 12 o'clock, it's gonna move our way back and get a little bit more sunny, you know. Yeah, and soon we reach the tire shop where we can get this man's tire replaced. Let's yeah, see how sure. it works out. Yeah. Well, we just arrived now at the tire shop, you know, yeah, and the guy wanted to change the tire, but I, I think oh, the tire was puncture, but when we reach here you now, I just realized that he need a new tire. So we have to find a place where you can go now and purchase a tire, you know, to put on the car, you know. Yeah, so let's check it, what they're doing. Yeah, check it out. Oh, Shellan, look around here, you too. Yeah, man, tire man, man. Yeah. The best, one. Yeah. The best tire man you have in Port Antonio, you know. Best one? The best, super so best one, one I tell you. Sheldon, you know. So when you're in Jamaica, and especially when you're in Portland, having a problem with tire, Sheldon Place in Port Antonio at Brumbrook Square is the best man to come and change your tire. He's a very good guy, you know. He don't really greedy about money, you know. He will just use the discretion and charge you. He don't charge you because you're a tourist and come to his place. That's what I love about Sheldon, you know. He's a very honest guy, you know. So let's go inside and see what's going on here, you know. Yeah. Nice. So much anyone? Okay. So yeah, guys, this tire is really, really. <laughs> you hit something real bad, huh? Shit, don't even ask, man. Yeah, so now the guy said he can patch the tire, so he feel a little bit better. So he don't have to spend this big money, you know. So I don't know how much I'm gonna take from him for that, you know. But we will see at the end of it, okay? So now we're gonna go uptown and check uptown and see what's going on. Pick, pick up a few party and maybe go in the supermarket. I don't know, but we have to check it out and see what's going on, okay? So let's go so. In, in the car now. And relax, in the back, okay? <laughs> yeah, now we arrive at Herald Street Marina. You don't want to? No, I don't want to be in there. Okay, now we arrive at Herald Street Marina, you know? And just leave the car there and taking a walk further downtown in Port Antonio and check it out, you know? Maybe we want to grab some patty, okay? Yeah, let's yeah, grab some patty. Yeah, we have to wait anyways until Manny's car tire is patched, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes let's do it. And because of the rain, it seemed like the homeless people have a hard night last night. You know? Because if you look over there, you see no one, you know. So maybe they have to sleep in the town on the Pesa, you know. Maybe on the bank Pesa, this wholesale Pesa, the supermarket Pesa. Because normally, you will see all the people here sleeping in the morning, you know. But because of the rain, you have to find somewhere, deter yeah. to somewhere. But here is the original German building in Port Antoni. This lady take all the things from Germany and come here, Miss Farmy, and make up that building. It's not so old like how it looks, you know, but she make it look old like an old historical building, you know. Look at it. Thank you. I just got myself a nice piece of jackfruit, a hundred dollar jackfruit slice. Really nice fruit. Most of you probably don't even know jackfruit. It's really delicious. <laughs> you know, see, see, we just get the party up by the party place and by entering the supermarket. The supermarket was so busy and the line was so long. But oh, I, tell, man. I tell you before, you know, I would never do it inside here no. unless because you have to do it, you know. So now we're so free line, we just pack up with it and move on, you know. Can yeah. I go and turn on the Polish this by road, man? What is this lady? 
just a crazy lady. You know? Crazy lady. Yeah, so we don't care about crazy people. We just do what we have to do you know? and move on. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, move yeah. on. Yeah. Yo guys, we are back in the car, heading back to the tire shop now and uh, let's see if they actually already patched this man's tire. Yes sir, we're gonna find that out. Very soon. No, I don't think it's already done, you know. Maybe it's still on the machine burning, you know, and taking a little bit more time, you know. So, I'm just checking and see what's going on over there, you know. But maybe I should go out there and see what's going on. So we just made it back to the tire shop and uh, yeah, check where's the tire now? Here is the tire. It's on the machine burning now, you know, because he put something inside and then he wind down the clamp to get it closed. That's the heat he can go back there and melt and fix back the tire together, you know. That's how they do it here. It's a little freelance style, you know. So it's a little bit risky too, you know. Sometimes better you buy a new tire more than really do this crazy thing, but sometimes for freelance people, money is so low, so you better run a little risk until you make some money, you can replace it. You know? But here, it's a very good tire shop in Port Antonio, you know. A guy named Sheldon, you know. He always look out for people and help people, you know. He don't really rob people and overprice and things like that. They're a very nice, honest guy, Sheldon. Yeah, man. I used to ride a bike here and fix my tire. If I even go to Kingston and buy my tire, because in Port Antonio, for my trail bike, it's very difficult to get the tire. So more time, I have to go to Kingston. So when I go to Kingston and purchase the tire, I bring the tire up here and make Sheldon take it off my bike and then replace it back with a new tire, you know. So you are good people here, man. And no. he's the next guy, you know. You work here too, you know. Yeah, man. This down here is an old iron, by the way, guys, and it currently heats up the tire. <laughs> Real freelance. Real freelance style. <laughs> Real freelance tire repair yeah. here in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't know, it takes some more time, I guess. Tire finally come off the baking machine now, you know. So now the guy is gonna put it on. So now he's taking off the spare one. You see, with the lock pool, taking off all those. And after that now, he's gonna bring the tire from inside and put it right on there. You know? So you can look what he's doing over here. So that's how the tire looks now after it's patched. This whole part here has been melted. Yeah, and yeah, nice. Yeah, it's crispy. I put it on and By the way guys, in the country where I'm from, it would not be allowed to fix a tire like that because it's too dangerous. Maybe it can burst and you die. Yes, it's true, but you know Jamaica is a freelance place. You know? Yes, so people, very freelance. So people just do freelance thing, you know, and risk with life, you know. So that's how the people live here, you know. They don't really throw away things, you know. They try to make things together again, you know, and put it in a right and proper way, you know. Not just freelance bike rider. Freelance, freelance bike riders Definitely. always make noise. Yeah, always. Yeah, loud. Yes. I, I need one of these lights, you know. I need one of these, you know. Yeah. You want to put it on my trail bike? You want to put it on your trail bike? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah, here in Jamaica they're even able to fix these big tires for the caterpillar. We are back at Chucky's yard and Chucky Wagwan now. You know, Sensei, I'm trying now to just bathe Ugu, you know, because him smell real shice, you know, yeah. and him go on the bed, so we have to take care of him the best and proper way, you know. So I just go to the Chinese store, 
and buy the shampoo, you know. Yeah, man. I know I'm really taking care of Fugu because I don't want to bring him down by the river, so I'm going to use the pipe, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Just mm, like rowdy. That. Nice shower, huh? Yeah. Yes. Look at freelance style, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. It, it may be a little bit uncomfortable for him, but I think it's better like it's that. Better like this, you know. To be rubbing, you know? scrubbing, you know? clean him. Right and proper. You know? Okay, Chucky, you ready? Yes. Ready. I need to get something to dry him now, you know? You're drying him off now? Yes, freelance style, you know? Because <laughs> I can't find a proper towel, so I just use a piece of freelance cloth, you know? And try to dry him off, you know? Make him look good. He look better, though. Yeah, man. The little birdie is coming over to grab some of the dog food. Yeah, man, nice. Chucky always has these beautiful birds coming over that snack on some of the dog food. And that's the sound they're making. It sounds so nice. Do it now. Chucky just cleaning the dog plate. Yeah, because, you know, say I just finished cooking the dog food, you know. So now I'm going to share it, you know. But I don't know if Scrappy going to take none. It's always going to take, you know. There no more. I didn't grab him up. Chelsea. Yeah, you know. Telephone low? Yeah. But we can't touch it. Now I miss it. Yeah, you have wet hands. The yeah. tap screen don't work, right? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Me call it. Ah. Give back this. And try it, you know. See how it works. Chubby, three hands. Chubby, three hands. Margarita. Yeah, he wanna eat it later. I know. Me Two. too. Two. I think you feel better, you know? <laughs> Look like it. Yeah? Yeah. I, yeah, you feel much better, I know. Yes, Scruffy feel a little bit much more better, you know? And you just relax and I share the food and you can see you eat a lot now, you know? So. Well, Scruffy, you eat a lot. Maybe you don't like the camera, you know? He don't eat when you try to feed him, you know. But when he on his own freelance without no camera, he enjoy eating, you know. So maybe you don't have to put the camera when you're eating. You shy away from the camera. Like most people don't like looking camera, you know. But they shy, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but for me as a freelance, I don't care about camera and nothing, you know. I just do what I have to do, you know, every day, you know. I just create and do what I have to do. I don't care what people think or what people say about me. As long as I am comfortable with what I do, I don't care, you know. I just live one day at a time and do things as according to my feelings. That's how we live, day by day, okay? Yes, but saying that and saying this, I'm not against the next person from choose to live the way he want to live and the way he feel happy about life. Uh, that is his right to choose to do that and live that way. So don't disturb me and don't come in my space and tell me I'm not living the right way. You're wrong, you know, because I'm comfortable with what I'm doing, you know. Okay, one love, you know, I'm an open person, you know, open for anyone to talk to. 
no special one, you know. So when the people come, I'm here waiting, you know. And what they have to say, maybe I don't have the answer, but maybe I can answer if, it, if the question is come in the right way, that I can find the right word at the right time, I will answer. Scrappy, leave the puppy alone, you know. Is the junior coming up, you know? And yeah, junior is joining. Yeah. And, and Scrappy is getting vexed and hunger because he's so jealous, you know. He like all the attention, you know. So when people don't pay attention to Scrappy, he get mad at the post, he get mad at the small puppy, you know. So I'm telling him, just chill and cool out, you know. Till your time come around again, you know. You cannot get it all the while, you know. Ah, other people have to live too, you know. Yeah, that's how it goes, you know. But we respect the animal, you know. And I say it, and I will always say it. I'm a part of the animal family. Never forgot that, you know. Some people hide from that reality, you know. And will never upset that reality, say, they're a part of the animal family. I think when they reach to that point, they will stop abuse animal, you know. Because when they abuse the animal, they will look back on themselves and realize they're abusing their own self, you know. So people wake up to that reality and stop abuse dumb animal. Not nice, not good. One love, blessed love, highly high. That's the far right.